Hello, everyone. Welcome to Suni Art. This is Suni. Today, I'm going to share you this painting, the green grapes, using acrylic paint. Okay. So this project, I will use three brushes: filbert brush number six, filbert number two, and a liner brush. You can use any brand of the brush. I like to use this because it's very, uh, it's very easy to paint. Okay, so the color that I use for this project is this sixteen color set from Suni Art. I come out with this paint is because that um it's easier for my student to get. So all the the painting that I design using this set of color is more convenient to bring, and also uh easy to get in Malaysia. Okay, in my country because you are very hard to get the the other brand. Okay, see all the projects that I painted and I design using this set of color. So I will going to show more project. So today we are going to learn this green grapes. Okay, my channel actually is sharing. My painting, folk art painting, and decoupage. If you found that uh, my video is useful to you, you can subscribe my channel and click the small bell for notification. Then you won't miss any of my video. Okay. So because I am painting on, I'm demo this project on a uh, black color surface. So you have to base coat the grapes. In white color first, so I already base coated in white color. If you want to know how to base coat uh, and how to transfer the pattern on the surface, you can watch my previous video. I will uh, send a link in the description section, so you can click in the click into the, the description section, and you can see the link of my cherries uh, painting. So in that video, I already show you. Uh, I already show how to base coat, how to transfer the pattern. So we will base coat two or three layers of white color first. You have to follow exactly the line and must be very round. After two or three layers of white color, the color must be opaque. Then after that, I will base coat with this moss green. So the moss green also you need at least two to three layer. But if your background is not black color, like for example, your background is in white color or in a light pink color, whatever color which light color, then you no need to base it in the white color. You just directly base your grapes in moss green. Okay. Now I try. I I show you how to base coat. I use the. I like to use the filbert brush because we can. Because of the shape of the filbert brush, can make the grapes more round. Just follow. Always remember must must be round. Okay. Just like that. Um, three layers at least three layers. Okay. Each layers you have to make sure that you must blow dry. Okay. Three layers. Like for example, this is one layer. You have to blow dry first before you base coat the second layer. After that, you wash your brush. Wash your brush. Then we need to do the the shading first. Okay. So I will use this marine blue for the shading. Actually, it's a light for the lighting. Some color. I want some color tone. So you just side load, side load your brush. Side load means one side water, another side is the paint. You can have if you found it very dry, you can take a bit of of water. You see, this means the water is too much. Okay. Then again, you have to side load until half of the brush, the paint have to go. At least half of the brush. Then we look here. Then this blue color is only on the left, uh, le uh, up upper left, like a C stroke. 
Okay, again, just like a C. Just paint a C on every grapes. This one you just a little bit here, maybe here. This one you have to make sure this grape is under this one. Left on the left top. Okay, then wash your brush. Now we will do the shading, dark, darker shading. Use pine green. Okay, this one is very similar to the cherries. Uh, the the video that I sent a day earlier. It's very similar. The pen will not use much. You see, I pour too much already. That's why I come out with this 10 ml set. The same method again. Just side load. One side water, another side pine green. So now it's at the bottom. Okay. Just now, C. This one also C, but at the bottom. Okay. Just casually, okay, no stress, just casual. So here I put some because this one is under this grade. Always remember that when you silo the paint have to go half of the brush. If you're not, it will be like a line. So your shading is not nice. The shading must be like from dark to light, like, like fading effect, okay? Hope you understand because my English is not so good. I'm so sorry. Okay, now again here. Okay, this one you can have a light shading here because this one is under this grid. If you found that not dark enough, never mind. You just blow dry with the hair dryer. Then you come back and do the second layer. Okay. So while waiting, uh, it dry naturally then I do the highlight highlight here okay highlight I I will use this bright yellow okay always remember to shake uh, the paint before you use don't pour too much you see I always take too much you will use just a little bit of paint so I already painted a lot of project using this set the paint already stuck, I think. The hole is too small. Only this yellow, I don't know why. Always this yellow. I need a needle. Wait, huh? I'm sorry. Okay. Only this yellow always have problem. I don't know why. Okay. Just this will do. Okay. The same method again. Hey, eh? where's my brush? Okay, wash your brush, but not too dry. Your brush should have some water, okay, but not too wet. One side again with the yellow, you have to load until half of the brush. Okay, then we do the highlight on the top. It's the C stroke again. Make sure it must be brown, yeah. Go up. Okay, again. The first one, blue color, is C at the like a moon. Another one lower, then this one highlight is on the top. Also C. Can press uh, slightly, press down your brush. It's very similar. Uh, very similar like you're painting the cherries. For those who already try on the cherries. You will know the method is very very similar if you found that not bright enough never mind just wait it dry first okay or you can blow dry with the hair dryer like for example now the green i feel that is not enough now already dry right so i will do again one more time i want it to be slightly darker this painting actually you can paint on any surface you can paint on a wood piece you can paint on 
uh, PVC, on leather, on any on the metal, any surface. But the base coating on the non-porous surface, you have to apply a layer of sealer first. Then you can base coat with the acrylic paint, any color you like. Then you can transfer the pattern and you paint this. So the blue I would do again if I feel that I want to do it. Okay, then it's, it's up to you whether you want it to be darker or you want to be lighter. Okay, now you see almost done. So I found that the highlight is not enough. So I will add again one layer, again one more layer of the highlight. You see, I just do very casually, just like that. Okay, no stress, just like that. Then, while waiting, I will paint the stem. What you call this? I always don't remember. Okay, I use brown color. I use brown color and also some of the white color. Because this one is black surface, you cannot see the brown color. I try. This one actually will come to here. My design is come to here. Okay, this one. Then I will add a bit of white color for the highlight. If you found that too white already, you can mix your white color with the brown. So it won't be too much. Just like that, very simple. Then this one is almost the highlight is almost dry, almost dry already, right? Then I do another shading again. I want to have some depth, darker color, so I use this diox purple. You see, some of the grapes I put in this diox purple. The same method again, side loading. Okay, side load. So you choose not every one you need this purple color for the top. Okay, just like the reflection or just like the light. Maybe this one. I want to add this one and this one. Then the rest just leave it. And also the bottom, like some of the part here, bottom should be darker. Then you can add. Okay, add this diox purple, you see, it will be much nicer, more color tone here, here, also randomly, it's up to you, like this one is underneath, then you can be darker, like this one can be slightly darker, this one, here, okay, if not enough, never mind, you can add again after it dry, if not dry, you add, it will tend to have a hole, you see, like this one, so it's not so good, so you have to make sure it, it dry first. Okay, then after that, almost done. Then here, I use the brown color again. Where is the brown color? Okay, here. Use the number two filbert brush, also side load. Side load, I want to do this one here. Can you see? Because one side is water, another side is the paint. So you have like a smiling face, like a small C strokes again. Okay, just like that. If you found that enough already, you don't want to add anything, then just stop. Then we do the last highlight, this comma, little comma, white dot. Okay, this one you see is not right, right? So you can touch up again. How to do this one? Just how to correct it. This one should be above this, right? So I just touch up with the base color again, the, the more screen. Okay, just like that. Then after it dry, you can do one more layer. Okay. So like the purple, if you found that not enough, now I can put one more time because already dry. Make sure your 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 side loading must be the paint have to come half of the brush. This one's still not dry, so I cannot put. Just like 
this way it dry first okay just like that then I change to a number two okay but and the white color I want to paint the little comma so the comma no need to be very sharp so you can add a bit of water to dilute it okay the comma is like this huh? just comma okay again the stroke just like that just press and lift just touch and go okay here this side maybe here here and also here if you found that you want it to be brighter then you can add again after it dry like for example this one I add one more time so you see it can be more sharp not everyone some should be slightly uh, uh, dull done very simple project right okay so if you want to uh, know how to paint the cherries you can watch my another video okay and also if you want this pattern you can please comment in the comment section uh, or you can email to me oh sorry not email you just just give me your email or your facebook messenger i will send you this pattern okay thank you for watching hope you like it